Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming what's in my hospital makeup bag. So this looks giant and it kind of is. It's not just like a regular makeup bag because I do have my mirror as well as skincare in here also. And I'm a makeup artist, so you know, I'm bringing the goods. I'm not just bringing like a mascara and a foundation. I'm, I'm bringing the whole shebang because I want to look very presentable for my pictures with my baby girl. And I'm sure I'll have some pictures that I'm not like all done up, but for like the main pictures in the hospital, like the first day and two that she's born, I definitely want to have those pictures of me looking good. Okay, so we have my Vasker makeup case. I'm not sure the exact name of it, but I will list it in the description box i got it from amazon a few years ago and i really love it i use it all the time whenever i go for traveling or just anytime i need to pack a little bit more makeup than what can fit in a makeup bag so it has two compartments that you can fit stuff in and this is the top part so it has this zipper right here and this is where i keep my mirror i don't want to blind you guys so i'll cover this but this is where I have my mirror. It just connects, this little piece connects on top of here so I can stand it up in the hospital. And then I also have a little pencil sharpener for my eyeliners. And that's all that's in this little zipper pouch. And then up here, we have a little flap where I keep my makeup wipes, the Neutrogena makeup removing, wipes in the blue package they are my absolute favorite they don't irritate my skin and i feel like they're super moisturizing because i do have dry skin so i really like these ones and there's also a little zipper right here where i have my skincare products so we'll go in order i'm bringing my CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser for normal to dry skin i've only used that a couple of times but i like it i think it's all right and it's the only travel size cleanser that i really have and then for my exfoliator i'm bringing the aveeno positively radiant skin brightening daily scrub this is really good it has fine scrubby little beads in it and i feel like it does actually brighten my skin so i'm bringing that and then my favorite uh, moisturizer this is by philosophy it's their take a deep breath this one has sunscreen spf in it as spf of 30 i love their original one but it's summertime so this is the one that i like to use the only difference between the original and this one is it has spf in it and it makes it more of like a runny consistency which is okay but i like more of a thicker consistency i feel like it's more moisturizing but in the summertime, I'll use this and it's just easier to travel with, honestly. So that is everything that's in the first zip up pouch. So the second is the main thing. So we open it and here's all of my main products. On the top, it has this flap where I have all of my makeup brushes that I'm going to be bringing. So I have some Tarte, Eco Tools, e.l.f., I have Morphe, Wet n Wild, all kinds of different brushes. So we have the face brushes, you know, powder for underneath the eyes, um, contour, and then we also have all my eye brushes right here. Shader, packer brush, whatever you want to call it. A few different kinds of blending brushes, smudger brushes, eyeliner, eyebrow, and that's pretty much it for the brush part of this whole kit. And then I'm also bringing a comb and some little mini hair ties just in case um, I want my mom to French braid my hair in the hospital, which I'll probably have her do, honestly. And then I'm also bringing a Wet Brush Pro Clip. I don't know if I'll need this for anything, but I'm bringing it just in case. And then I also have my tweezers. These are, I believe, either e.l.f. or from Dollar Tree. Super affordable and they work great. And then I'm also bringing some nail clippers, again, just in case. And I also have right here some bobby pins and a little spoolie for my eyebrows if I want to comb them out. So that's everything that's in this portion of my bag. 
So we'll bring it back a little bit. And I'm bringing this little fan that connects to my iPhone. I just think it's really convenient. I got it from uh, Five Below, I think it was, a while ago. I think it was only like $4, but I think you can get these at several places now. But you just plug it into where you would be charging your phone and it just starts spinning. So I like using this for whenever I'm just really hot or after using setting spray to help the spray kind of sink into your skin faster. So definitely want to bring that. And then my main eyeshadow palette is this. It's the Morphe 3502. And one of the shadows is broken. It broke a long time ago. I think it was just like a black. But these are just neutral, everyday shades. Again, I don't know what look exactly I'm going to be doing. But I know I want it to be like natural, neutral colors. I might do something a little bit more smoky. So this is a great palette to, to just you know, dive into. It has all kinds of different colors to choose from. Warm, and it has some cool tones down here. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, but definitely wanted to have a palette that had all kinds of shades to choose from. Here is my main makeup products that I am bringing. I went through this about three different times now and just reorganized and redid and took out and put in new stuff. So this is what I decided to bring. So I'm just gonna start from this and then work my way over. I'm bringing my face powder by Maybelline. This is the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Translucent Powder. I love this stuff. I've been using it for years and it just works for me. So this is my backup one that I've had for a little bit. And so I'm bringing that full powder, love it. And then for highlighter and then blush, I love both of these. Um, sometimes whenever I get palettes like this, that's like duos, uh, I don't normally use a blush. I'm not really a blush type of person anyways, but this blush is honestly really pretty. So I do use it whenever I use this palette for the highlighter. This is by Wet n Wild. It is their Hello Halo Blush Lighter in the shade Highlight Bling. Super, super blinding highlight. Very gorgeous. The blush is a little bit more subtle and it looks in the pan like it has a lot of shimmer, but it doesn't pick up that much on the skin, but it just gives a really pretty glow. And for dry skin, I just think it looks beautiful together. So I'm bringing that for sure. And then the last eyeshadow palette. I know you guys, I'm only bringing two eyeshadow palettes. Um, this is by Morphe Jaclyn Hill. It is their Armed and Gorgeous palette. My favorite travel palette literally ever. This shade specifically VIP is perfect for the inner corner or the brow bone or even all over the lid is very, very gorgeous. And I just love this palette because it just has pretty much any kind of neutral with a pop of glam look that I want to do because it has the bronze it has the super bright gold and then it has more of like a natural champagne gold and then also you know this bright white but the mattes are very very buttery and I just love this palette so much and especially in the summertime it's one of my favorite palettes this is the last palette we have in here this is the makeup revolution Roxy Roxasaurus Contour and Highlighting Palette. This is a newer one to me, but I love this. I just used it for the first time the other day and I swatched all the shades today and I definitely wanted to bring it because this specifically color, this specific color is beautiful on my skin tone. It looks really yellow in the pan, but when you swatch it, it's like a beautiful champagne, like with a hint of yellow. I don't normally like yellow toned highlighters, but this has a really pretty champagne glow. I'll show you guys swatches right here, but it's very beautiful. And then these two shades are gorgeous for um, bronzing slash contouring. This one's really pretty too. It's just a little bit darker. So I compared this to my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I will show you guys in the swatch right here. But they're pretty similar, and this one's honestly just as buttery and smooth as the Physician's Formula one. And so I definitely wanted to bring this whole palette since it has pretty much everything. In case I don't want to use the highlighter in here, I'll go in with the highlighter right here because this one's so beautiful. All three of these highlighters are good for my skin tone, but I just really love the champagne -y tone highlighters. They're just my favorite. Okay, so for my primer, I really love a glow 
like I said, I have dry skin. So the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer is one of my favorites from the drugstore. Wet n Wild has one that I really like too. But this one is just kind of like a step up. It reminds me of the MAC Strobe Cream in a way. The Strobe Cream is a bit better, I feel like, for a glow. But this one does give a really pretty glow to the skin anyways. So for drugstore, I really like this one. And so I definitely want to bring this because I don't want my foundation to look matte at all. I want to have that beautiful glowing look in the hospital because I'm having a baby and I don't want to look like a cakey mess. I want to look like I'm glowing. And then for my concealer, I'm only bringing one. This is by e.l.f. It is their Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I have the shade Fair Warm. I love this concealer. It's new to me. I've had their regular camo concealer and that's really good too. But this one for dry skin, you guys, it, it, it does wonders. It's freaking amazing. So I would definitely recommend trying the hydrating one if you have dry skin and you like the regular camo concealer. Or if you just want a good full coverage concealer from the drugstore, e.l.f. has got you. For foundation, I'm bringing two. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. They have a regular one that is more mattifying, but this is their newer one. It is the Dewy. Um, I have the shade Shell Ivory, and this is literally the perfect shade match I think I've ever found in a foundation for me. Maybelline Fit Me is pretty good with shade matching as well, but this one I just feel like is the perfect drugstore shade that I've ever found for myself and the finish of this just gives such a beautiful look to the skin. Very airbrushed looking. It is just gorgeous. I absolutely love this foundation. And then my all-time favorite, it's a little bit more expensive but I just put it in this little travel size shampoo bottle that I had. This is by Dermablend. It is their leg and body makeup in the shade 10N. I honestly need a shade lighter but if I want to have a little bit more color in my skin, then I'll just bring this all the way down the neck. This has a beautiful full coverage look. It lasts all day long and it just is so, so gorgeous on the skin. So I don't know which one I'm gonna end up using. I'll probably end up using the Wet n Wild one just because I love it so much and it's newer to me, but I'm gonna have this just in case. And then I'm also bringing my Beauty Blender sponge. This is the one by the brand Beauty Blender and it is their like cobalt blue sponge. It honestly needs to be cleaned. I'll probably clean it after this video, but I love these makeup sponges for applying my foundation and concealer. They're just amazing, and I definitely recommend having a sponge rather than a brush. At least for me, it's just what I like. And then we'll go down here. I'm bringing my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. And this one is in the shade Soft Brown. So it has like this taupey kind of brown shade and then a little bit of a warmer brown on this side. So I like to use this on the inner portion of the brows and then this one on the outer portion. I love using a brow powder because I just feel like it gives such a easy, quick brow routine, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Pencils I like using, but I just feel like it takes a little bit longer. If you just use an angled brush and some brow powder, you can just apply your brows so easy. And I just feel like it always looks good no matter how bad your brows are, like if you need to get them trimmed or whatever. Brow powder is just my favorite way to go. And then to set the powder, I am also bringing my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. This is in the shade Chocolate. And I just like using this right on top of the brow powder and it just keeps your brows on all day. They're not going nowhere. And then I'm also bringing for my regular bullet lipstick, Max Blankety. And this is just like a nude color. I'll swatch it for you guys. But it is just like my perfect nude for my skin tone. It's not too pale and it's not too warm or pink or anything like that. It's just like perfect for my skin tone. Really love that. And I'm also bringing a lip balm. So this is my favorite one from the drugstore is Vaseline's Creme Brulee. It is so tiny and cute and it smells amazing. The Creme Brulee scent is my favorite one that they carry. 
definitely had to bring that because I know in the hospital your lips get very dry as well as the rest of your skin. And then if I don't feel like doing my actual skincare routine, if I just feel really lazy, um, I'm going to bring this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. This is the waterproof. Um, so it takes off like waterproof mascara and stuff like that. So you just shake it and put it on a cotton round. I have cotton rounds right here. And it just gets all your makeup off super quick and easy if you don't feel like actually washing your face. I use this stuff all the time. Or you can use like Witch Hazel Toner. It does the same exact thing. But this is just my little travel size and I love it. And then I'm also bringing my favorite lip oil by Clarins. It is their Mint Instant Light lip oil this is just the travel size i've had this for so long though and it lasts forever it's the most moisturizing lip oil that i've ever tried it's just so good and very hydrating for dry cracked lips and then for setting sprays i'm bringing three different ones these two are by catrice and they're newer to me but i've heard really good things about them so i definitely wanted to try them this one is their prime and fine multi talent fixing spray so this one is going to make your makeup last all throughout the day supposedly is what it's supposed to do so what i'm going to do is apply this one right after i get done with my makeup to make it last and then this one is just a their dewy glow fixing spray and it's just going to give you a really pretty glow to the skin if you're looking too matte or if you just want an extra glow on top of all the products that you already applied i have to have some kind of glowing setting spray so i'm bringing both of those and then i'm also bringing my travel size mario badescu facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea this is my favorite one. They have three different scents, but this one is just, it smells so good. And I like using this before I go in with my makeup just to give it a, like a ref, my skin a refreshment and it just smells so good. So sometimes I'll use this after my foundation too, actually a lot of the times, but since I wanted to try these out more, I'm going to bring those two and just use this before I go in with any of my actual makeup after I use my skincare products. And then for liquid lipsticks, because sometimes I'll just go in with this and no lip liner or anything else, just if I'm like feeling lazy and I don't really want to do much to my lips. But if I do want to do something a little bit extra to my lips, I'll go in with the liquid lipstick because it's just my favorite way to apply a lip color to my lips. I don't normally like colored regular lipstick. The liquid lipsticks are just so much easier and I just think they look better on my lips in general. So I'm bringing this reddish color by Tarte. It is their Tartus Lip Paint and the shade is Vibin. Super pretty red. I have it swatched right here if you guys wanted to see that. And then the next one I have swatched right here is this one by Makeup Forever. So you guys can kind of see that swatch. It's more of like a mauve tone nude. Super pretty. And this is the shade 105, I think it's called. I don't think they have actual names. I think they're just numbers. So I wanted to have a nude and then a bold lip, just depending on what I'm wanting to do that day. Again, I don't know. I just wanted to have options. And then for... My next skincare products, I'm bringing this serum by First Aid Beauty, and I don't think I've tried this before, but it's their Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum, and again, dry skin, so any kind of hydration I'm all about. So I wanted to bring a serum after I get done cleansing my face, and then I'm also bringing this primerizer by Smashbox. It is their Photo Finish Primer Plus Moisturizer in one, and I've heard really good things about this. I'm not a huge fan of it, but since it does have that priming effect as well as moisturizing, I wanted to bring it just in case I want to use it instead of the glowing primer. We'll see. And then the last few products are eyeliners and mascaras. So I have this by NYX. It is their professional micro brow pencil in the shade Brunette. Again, in case I don't want to use the powder, if I want to just um, do more of like a flick brow rather than like a Instagram bold brow, 
I'm bringing this brow pencil, one of my favorites. And then eyeliners, I'm bringing two for the waterline. Again, I wanted to have options. So I'm bringing a black one and then a nude. This one is by NYX. It is their slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. I've used this for literally years, I think since 2011. I've gone through so many of these. It is my favorite from the drugstore. It lasts all day and it's super intensely black. And then this is my favorite nude eyeliner from the drugstore. It is by Essence. It is their Extreme Lasting Waterproof Eye Pencil in the shade Silky Nude. It is just the perfect nude shade. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's just, it looks good with any kind of makeup look. So wanted to bring both of those. And then for my winged eyeliner, if I want to do a wing or if I just want to do a straight line, it doesn't really matter. I love felt tip eyeliners a lot more than like a liquid. I just feel like they last a lot longer and so I'm bringing two of them. This one is by Stila. It's a stay all day waterproof eyeliner. I really love this one, but I also really like this one because this one's by Kat Von D. It is their tattoo liner in the shade Trooper Black. It's just a little sample. I think I got this in, I think I got this for a birthday gift, honestly, from Sephora or Alta. I'm not sure which one it was, but I really want to get a full size because I love it that much. And this one doesn't, not crack, it doesn't separate in the inner corner like most felt tip or even liquid eyeliners do. This one does a little bit if I don't let it dry down before it um, activates, I guess. But this one right away, I can put it on the inner corner and it doesn't do that at all. So I might use this one on the inner corner and then this one on the rest of my eyes. I don't know, I'm bringing both of them because I love both of them. And then the last thing that I'm bringing is my Essence Lash Princess Waterproof Mascara is their False Lash Effect. I love the purple one. It's not waterproof, but it's my favorite if I feel like it just does an amazing job for the price, especially for lengthening and volumizing. But I'm gonna be in the hospital crying because I'm gonna have a baby. So I wanted to have waterproof as much as possible. So I'm bringing this one for sure. And then these are the last things in here. These are the cotton rounds from Walmart. I don't know the exact brand, but they have like the exfoliating part on one side and then this really soft material on the other side or print, whatever you wanna call it. And I just really like them. I think they do a really good job. So that is everything that I'm bringing in my hospital makeup skincare bag or case, I guess you would call it. Thank you guys for watching. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video.